Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are playing The Sims 4 and we're going to be building a elegant shop, a uh, furniture shop um, within The Sims 4. Um, so this is a speed build and what I wanted to do um, at the start of the video I'm going to, from now on, I'm going to put everything that I do in the recording session into the build. Like this, the bit that start here in uh, the vampire world I've kept it in because it's kind of showing that um, there's that's what you know with my creative um, thoughts and that's what I did at the start and I was like no um, I don't want to do this I actually changed my mind um, and we are actually doing a, um, a retail store instead in Magnolia Promenade which I think it's called I can't remember um, so we're gonna start off by taking um, or building all of the um, walls and getting the general structure of the store together. Um, I want to let you know now that there's um, a like, bit at the end of the recording I didn't do. So you'll see in the screenshots at the end of the video um, what I mean. But it basically, um, I finished the store and then um I logged off and then like a few days later I came back and I was like right I need to edit up and th edit this video now and then I came to the thing and I was like actually this th build is like half done like most of it's done I just needed to do the final tweaks and I thought I did it but I hadn't um so I went back after the recording session and did it all and I didn't record it because it wasn't that like edit it wasn't that necessary to record it so um yeah I did that um, so you can see I've used those windows there um, I love those windows they are just so perfect for this build it's this this shop reminds me of something you'd see on like Beverly Hills or something like really expensive boutique kind of store um, I want to do a similar one that has a um, red and black um, theme because this one is white and gold because it's very classy and sophisticated and elegant and kind of vintage as well um, I want to do another one where I do clothes and do them um, do them in like a black and uh, red and white maybe um, theme I think that would be like really really cute so um, so I'm gonna do that um, I used a lot of the objects from City Living, uh, vintage glamour stuff and also the vampire game pack or vampire pack that came out recently which I am in love with obviously because vampires is life <laughs> if you didn't know already it's just so fun to do so I put these palm trees at the front just to give it that um, kind of style that it is it would be in some kind of LA or something like that in somewhere in America that's really hot um, obviously I live in the UK so um, you wouldn't get palm trees in this country but um, but you would do like, it would be quite normal to have palm trees um, where this is set um, it's basically kind of a furniture shop so um, he seems to go there go in there and they have those sets like I don't know in this country we have something called B&Q when you go in there you can see like loads of kitchens that have already laid out that you can look at and you'll be like oh my god I really like that counter um, I need to just put my phone not on vibrate for a second because it is doing my head in there we go I put it on mute um, <coughs> sorry about that um, see when you go into B&Q they have these um, kitchen sets already out so it's like a full kitchen you can see if, if you like the countertops the tiles and like lighting and stuff like that um originally i was gonna go for you can see here i'm making these like shop and like shop window things um and um i went in and did those i deleted those in the end because i wasn't really happy with them um and this didn't really make much sense so I got rid of them and just opened it up into the store um, I used this new flooring from the vampires pack and it is gorgeous it is just so so nice um, it's probably one of my favourite floors in the game like in terms of wood flooring 
and I use this panelling here um, to create this um, kind of vintage vibe, very classy, um, expensive <laughs> vibe. And I use these chandeliers everywhere and they really, really looked good. Um, so yeah. Um, I did have to put a uh, spotlight above them as well because they wasn't they weren't really that bright. Um, they like as you can see there they cover up a lot of the wall. Um, so I do go up ahead and put in spotlight above them. You can't really see it, so it just adds in more light. As you can see, that I'm doing that now. Um, just to create the illusion that it's bright and inviting and. And you know, it just creates such a really nice vibe to the place. Um, I go in and start with the counters now. So I wanted to create a really nice big counter space. Um, so when that you come into the store, you know where to pay, you know where to ask for help or anything like that. Um, and it looked really, really nice. I got this really, really expensive looking cash machine or cash till till cash stick or what they're called um i wanted to put like a glass um table like a display there because i thought that looked really cool um it didn't really work out in the end so i left it um i'm gonna put these little glass um tables there so you know when you queue up in like a shop and they have loads of stuff as you're queuing up so you like as you're queuing up you're like oh i might need those so you pick them up it's kind of to create more like um so you can buy more stuff. It's quite good advertising. Um, I do have a lot of screenshots to show you at the end of the video. I'm, I went kind of crazy on screenshots this time. Um, that bed from the um, vampire stuff is so, so gorgeous. Um, if you haven't seen it already, it's just amazing. Um, so I start building up these sets. So we have, in total, um, in the build, I'll go through some like statistics with you now, um, and facts and stuff. So, together in this build, we have this bedroom here that I'm doing right now. We also have a living room set up. We have a um, uh, like office set up with the vintage desk that came in the thing, um, and that is gorgeous. Oh, I'll put these windows, uh, these mirrors in the back to create the illusion of more extra space so that the um, shop is like really really um, huge and I don't know so like, so good um, yeah so um, we've got a bedroom this bedroom we've got a living room we've got a um, office we have a another bedroom with a different bed and style we have a kids bedroom set up and we also have a bathroom set up as well um, and I did all those because I wanted to create different styles and because of the toddler stuff came out recently I thought I'd do a kids room to show off all the colour and like um, all the really nice stuff in the um, kids bedroom which I did and it turned out really nice these lights by the way are amazing I love those so stylish um, I love it so much. Um, um, yeah, so that was the bedroom pretty much. And I went with the, like the white and gold theme, as um, as we've done already. Um, that black and white and red print you just saw on the wall there. I think I'm going to base that around the shop idea for the clothing and stuff. So it's going to be a clothing. Um, a bit like a Primark, because Primark do pretty much everything um, you really need. Like It's not like a, a range or anything like that, but they do um, clothing, shoes, kids stuff, toys, um, knickknacks, fun stuff, and they also do um, um, homeware as well. I love Primark. Primark's probably one of the most like underestimated stores in the UK and it's just so good. I love Primark. It's great. Um, you can get everything in Primark. Like everything you need. Um, especially because I'm a model. Um, like just to, to, to shout out. Um, and you can just get everything you need in there. It's great. Um, 
don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Twitter, by the way, guys. Um, if you haven't already, um, it, links are always in the description, as always. Um, and if you go over to our Facebook, we kind of update quite a lot. And if you also go over to our Patreon page, um, you can follow us on there as well. So um, quite a lot of places you can follow us, um, get updates, that kind of thing. Um, if you're new to the channel, um, our Patreon page, we haven't done a video about it yet, but we are on it, like a car bonnet. <laughs> um, we are going to be doing a um, video, I'm probably going to film that today, um, uh, because Yoris is working like a lot recently, he's having trouble um, getting to film videos with me and stuff like that so things like the vampires pack uh, sorry the vampire series and also the to the um to the end and the so pretty much most of the series is because it has them has him has him in them most of the time uh, we've got a lot of stuff pre-recorded because of these sessions um um yeah we just it's not easy um because he's at work all the time and yeah, um, I'm gonna. Oh, sorry, I just knocked the mic. Um, I'm gonna try and do it, like, upload as best we can. Um, I'll try. We are trying to upload more often, more frequently, and um, we're still gonna just see how it rolls. Like, um, I don't want to upload every single day or every two days, or even make a schedule. Or tell you guys like we're gonna upload uh, three times a week because like it might not happen. Like realistically, we don't do this full time. If if we did this if we did this full time as a job, then sure we'll put every single Boston second into it. Um, but because we don't, it's so hard to um, it's just so hard to create the time to be able to um, put all our effort, like all our time into it. Just because we have jobs and commitments and things to do it's not easy um, and I know you understand so I'm really grateful for that um, so <laughs> whilst I babbled a lot about that um, we did the kids room the second bedroom and the bathroom so we nearly actually finished with the build I can see an end in sight um, I love that bathroom that stuff oh my god isn't that bath gorgeous I want that bath in real life so we're just getting some countertops behind the um the uh what is it the um desk the front desk the main desk the, the thing that thing um here was where I was like I want to get rid of those things because I want to add more um decorations in the window and stuff like that and it just wasn't big enough or I don't know I just got rid of it I didn't like it so I was like meh no we're, do we're done with that that's we Done, son. Um, yeah, so oh yeah, we are uploading quite a lot recently. Um, and every time we upload, we do post onto our YouTube, uh, sorry, onto our Facebook and Twitter. Um, we don't have an Instagram. Um, I have my own personal Instagram, um, which I haven't uploaded much recently because. I haven't been doing much if that makes sense doesn't really make sense to you but it does make sense to me um uh, every all I call always all our links are in the description and so you can go go there and check us out they are on our Facebook um like home page so you can go there and check it out as well um we do put another couch in the um in that living room space there so you can see that um I want to maybe get our vampire let's play 2 or maybe my um my city life let's play one of those to come and live um in here and um maybe convert it a little bit so the back of the area is um like a house or something i really want to do that um and i might do that with the vampires because that'll be fun for both both me and Yoris to um, to have that to explore. Um, we are going to record a few episodes tonight, I think. So get excited for that. So there are more episodes on the way, guys. Um, 
A couple of things to note about this build actually, it is on the gallery so if you do want to download this build um, you can find me on the gallery on Origin, um, just search Esme Rose and you'll find it there. Also if you um, use this build make sure you tweet us, you Facebook us, you send us a message, um, let us know when you've used it um, and if you've converted it into like a apartment kind of shop build or something like that let us know um it's fine you can do that I totally do that that's what it's made for um let us know because i like i love seeing your guys's like stuff that you've done and like if you made like a build of mine and you've converted it or like refurbished it or something like that it's so good it's so fun to um to see um, so on the bottom floor of this build, because it is a two-storey build, um, I have put all this vines like around. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. Um, and some of it does go away in the final, final build because obviously I didn't record that stuff. Um, there is a second floor on this bit, so you can extend your shop or create like an apartment or something, so you can run it easier or like I could just show there. Um, you can do that. Um, it's totally up to you. Um, I am just getting in the roof and the final the final bits of this. Um, and yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this little speed build. Um, we've got a lot of screenshots to come, so don't get worried because I'll go through everything with you in the screenshots, which will be cool. Um, I did make the roof pretty realistic, like I'd put in, um, you can see in a second, I put in some like vents and stuff like that to um, make it look more um, like realistic, like it's actually a functioning shop. Um, just a couple of things, not to make it overpowered or anything like that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So let's go into the screenshots, guys. Uh, so this is the front of the build, you can see here, um, the palm trees, it just looks so blends in with the world around it. Um, uh, looks so vintage and like classy. So we're going into the front door there. Um, a couple of um screenshots from the back of the build. It's not that exciting, but hey ho. <laughs> um, it doesn't need to be that exciting. So we're coming straight into the uh, front of the build now. Um, we've got the kids' room in the back there and that other um um bed bedroom the piano there there's just the kids room here um and this is the other side of the kids room um here you can see the uh, bedroom one of the bedrooms this is the bathroom with the um the blue i did pop around a load of radiators to give it that vintage vibe um got a black and gold kind of um, layout in the um in here here's one of the um bedrooms and the office here so we're going into closer into the office there so you can see uh, this is the canteen right at the back of the build and the other side of it there just for your staff and stuff we've got a couple of managers offices and that's about it so i'll see you later guys hope you enjoyed this and i'll see you later bye